一楽ラーメン一楽ラーメンあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ So we have the Hichiraku ramen sign here, and then like lots of anime style artwork here, you know. I mean, this is like really cool. And here, if you don't know, this is like traditional Japanese seating. So you can sit down, kind of like with your legs folded, and eat right here, yeah? So I think I'm gonna eat somewhere around here, but look at this, man. This is really, really cool, you know? So I'm gonna have the chicken ramen. Somewhere around here. Alright, I should have brought my tripod. Alright. What's up guys, Marcus Bird here. If you haven't already, please click like, subscribe. I'm a Jamaican YouTuber. I'm creative and right now I'm traveling to Colombia and I'm making interesting videos, right? So, now all of you are watching the videos, click like and subscribe. Leave some comments, it helps me to grow. Right now the mission is to get to 3,000 followers on my 2,845. So respect to the last 20 something of you who joined the channel in the last maybe two weeks, which is great. So we now to come out, they don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about it and I'll try and give it another bird rating, like you know the bird, what do you call it? Like bird stars, something like that. We'll see. Hola amigo. Hola. Es todo? Okay. I'm in the oh, gracias. You have to mix it. Yeah, you have to mix it. Thank you. So mix it up. Alright, so let's taste this. It was very dark, like there's a lot to show you in there. It's a bit salty. Not tasting 100% Japanese to me. Noodles are all right, it's okay. So far it's tasting like okay. It doesn't really taste exactly like ramen I'm used to. Something's a little off. The noodles are well done, but something with the ingredients is a little off. I think there's a little bit too much shoyu. It's just kind of drowning out the natural flavors. So I think they put a little bit too much miso in here. Eating Japanese food, right? Here is this thing called umami which is the flavor that comes out like naturally from what you're eating. So when I was in Japan and I first went there, a big problem I had was everything tasted very bland because I wasn't used to eating things with like flavor. And in Jamaica, it's like pepper and salt and, and just spices, right? But in Japan, when you're eating, you start to appreciate like the subtle things like tasting the onions, the lightness of the shoyu, and the mixture of everything that brings everything out, right? So usually with well done ramen, as soon as you take the first sip, your tongue gets hit with like a plethora of sensations, right? I know when I tasted this, I'm tasting just most of soy sauce, right? Why doesn't it taste like the ramen I'm used to eating in Jamaica from a Japanese chef? I can still eat it and finish it, you know? But it's not like, mmm, oh my god, you know? Right now they're at like, Three stars out of five. Three, three bird stars out of five. And actually, full disclaimer, you know, I would think the average person who comes and eats here in Colombia wouldn't know what I know. They wouldn't know what I know unless they have hot Japanese cuisine. So I don't know if it's completely fair for me to not display it because I lived in Japan for two years. So I know how to taste the Japanese food. And then when I'm in Jamaica, I'm also spoiled because all the Japanese restaurants are run by Japanese people, right? So I'm not saying don't come here. Like I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm eating, but it's not 100% Japanese. Because when I eat it in Jamaica, as soon as you take that first sip, you're like, oh my goodness, it's so good. Like I'm, I'm transported back to Japan. This feels like somebody that knew the ingredients, put them together, but not 100%, all right? So I'm gonna continue eating my meal. So this actually makes me want to talk about Japanese food a little bit because um, one of the best things about living in Japan is that the 
food is amazing almost anywhere you go. Like the food is just amazing, right? The chefs tend to take a lot of pride in what they create. So whether you're eating ramen or just even fast food, sometimes it's really, really tasty. So I guess I could take this opportunity to talk about, since I'm in ramen shop, I could take this opportunity to talk about why I didn't go to Japan. As I said in one of my videos earlier, maybe like a week ago, my plan to Medellin was just to kind of get away to reset my brain, right? And that destination for me originally was going to be Japan because I'm like, I know Japan, I uh, can speak the language, you know, I can read the language, and there's just lots of stuff to do. You know, I lived in Tokyo so I could get a place, I know to move around, I know to save money, etc., right? And <clears throat> it didn't work out because when I applied for my visa, the visa was not accepted. Like, I didn't get the visa. So that happens in Jamaica sometimes when you have all your paperwork and, and, and they're like, you know, no, we didn't give you the visa. And, and you can't go back to apply for seven months. And I was like, what, seven months? So that's how the Columbia trip happened, right? Because I'm like, all right, I don't know what happened there, you know? But generally speaking, I think it worked out better because I got to see a new country and I'm having a great time here. I feel so different here. I don't know if I would feel the same way I feel now in Japan. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know if I'd be getting the same kind of experiences, meeting the same kind of people, on creating content like this. So even like this right here, you see the egg yolk is not supposed to be soft, right? When you have ramen like this, generally, the egg is like, it's all hard, including the yolk and the egg itself. But still, it's almost there. So as I was saying, I am not sure if I'd be getting the same experience in Japan as I've been here. You know, when salsa dancing the other night, you didn't walk in my camera. You know, I've been just doing things that I haven't been doing in a very long time. And there's just a very active language exchange scene here. You know, I'm gonna go try and go to one or two every day because that's a great way to meet people. And then the city is just beautiful. I'm, I'm looking outside and I'm seeing all these trees and, and, and it's, just, it's just great, you know? So everything happens for a reason. You know, because I felt bad that I didn't get my visa to go to Japan, but then after a couple of days I was like, no, 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 no. In your life, everything happens for a reason. So, focus on what you can control. And that was coming to Colombia. So, yeah. But one thing, one thing I didn't consider is that maybe in Colombia, this is Colombian style Japanese ramen. Because one thing I forgot to note is that when you're, you know, in a different country, there are different preferences based on who you're serving. So it's possible that, you know, they had real straight Japanese style ramen here. And then the people that came were like, no, we want it more salty or more whatever, right? I don't know. You get me? So that's a possibility. You get me? But I mean, at the end of the day, I think my observation is correct because it feels close to ramen, but not there. And also, it doesn't feel like spicy more than normal it doesn't feel it's like it's almost there like I can I can taste the hints of the elements I can taste umami but something is slightly like 15 20 percent not 100 you get me but yeah man not knocking the place I want to emphasize that I mean Colombia having ramen this is amazing all right so the meal is done yeah this definitely gets about 2.5 stars out of five just because I'm a person who is used to Japanese food and has lived in Japan. I think the average person who comes here is probably going to enjoy it, but it definitely didn't taste like real Japanese food to me. You know, next time I'm just going to follow my spirit. Because, you know, I didn't really want ramen. I came here and I ate ramen. I could have gone somewhere else and had like maybe some Colombian meal, but we'll see, you know. There's this vegan place that I want to check out called Cafe Zorba that does a vegan pizza. Uh, I might check it out one of these days. You know, because yo, this is what we do, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm old. I'm just I'm trying to enjoy the um, gastronomy, as they say in French. Enjoy the food, enjoy the culture, and keep it moving. All right. So, las personas que que vamos aquí necesito un diferente estación. Yeah, yeah. Yo yo creo lo mismo. Yeah. So no es mal. Okay. Son los ingredientes. Yeah, diferente, diferente, diferente. Yeah. Vivido por dos años en japonés, so, yeah. sí. mucho tiempo, ¿eh? Sí, sí. ¿Acá? Ya, sí. ¿En el futuro? Ah, hasta luego.
All right, so I just left the ramen place. As I said before, you know, I'm gonna be honest, quality wasn't the best, and I even said that to them, like, you know, I said, the but, but they said exactly what I thought. They were saying that because it's Colombia, the people want like a different taste of ramen, which is what I thought. So I wasn't knocking it to say it's not authentic, but I said it tastes different, and I thought it was because of the customers, right? So, you know, I even left a little tip, so they never feel no way. You know what I'm saying? Like a 2,000 peso, which is like 80 cents tip, right? All right, so that's the ramen shop. I have some stuff to do, you know, like I want to do some laundry and them kind of things there. So I'm gonna head in the opposite direction and maybe keep vlogging. But if not, you don't know, like and subscribe. Very much, you don't know. Boom.